Monomine 72 coming at you with another episode of The Contender. In this episode, it's probably going to be the final episode on the 69 Chevelle drop top. I want to run down the progression of the build and kind of the history, backstory, kind of give the backstory of what's going on. All right, so obviously my channel is going to be going through a lot of changes and stuff. But um, the 69 hardtop is actually a drag car. It started off as a stationary build. And then um, I made it roll, and then I dragged it. And I obviously could keep doing research and development, and actually it could become a champion. But I love the 69 Chevelle, so when I found this vintage piece, the drop top one, I started... Uh, you know, built, turning it into a drag car so it could take the place of the hard top. The reason being is because I actually want to take this hard top and turn it back into a stationary build because I actually wanted to, to build this one. And what I'm going to end up doing is this right here is going to be my Fast Jimmy, Little Joe, um, Street Outlaw build for ct speed shop okay so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this car and i'm going to turn it from a drag car back into a stationary build and go ahead and finish the build out and and just dedicate it to ct speed shop um yeah i know this is an episode of contender but since these these kind of uh histories are blending that i'm trying that's why i'm trying to give the backstory to exactly what's going on so i need a name for this car right here so in the comment section if you guys got any uh cool names that you can think of for this particular drag car uh it will be in the polyglass gt class it will be going up against the 69 Pontiac Firebird. And for all we know, this could be a, a new champion. But we'll see when that happens. So this car is going to take the place of this car. This car is going to be my CT Speed Shop uh, tribute build. And uh, that, that's, what, that's what's going on. So that's the backstory of how these of how this came to be. Uh, this is probably, like I say, this is probably going to be the last episode of the contender featuring the 69 drop top because there again, I, I am going to rebuild the engine and put it back in there, but it doesn't really need the engine to, to race. You know, that's just kind of like if you want to put it in there, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. But um, I just need to come up with a name for it and and, um, you know. Here and there, I can still be tweaking it as far as when we're racing it and everything. But it's ready to go as far as, you know, on the racetrack. So that's this This is going to be probably the last episode featuring this particular car. And we'll move on to other cars that we are going to... Um, the, let me do another clarification. The, the series, The Contender is not this car like i think some people are thinking that this car is called the contender it's not called the contender this i want a name for this car that's why i'm saying help me name it with in the comment section the the contender is the name of this series that's going to be featuring each car you know that we're finding in estate sales yard sales wherever you know we find these cars and stuff and turning them into to drag cars Anybody that's building a drag car, go ahead and be building it to send it in because obviously the more drag cars we have, the more excitement, the more races. Uh, my goal is to get at least one drag car to represent each channel of, of everybody in the community. So, you know, I've been thinking about how I could, could do that. And one way uh, I, that might be easier is uh, if you guys just build a body. Like say you guys pick out a car that you you want to represent your channel and just build the body, you know, paint it up the way you want it. Like you could have your channel name on it or your nickname on it or just the name of the car or no name at all, you know, just paint it and um, just do the body and send the body to me 
And when we discuss what class you want to run it in, we can build that kind of chassis under it and put under it. And then eventually you'll have a car that is represented at the drag strip, which, you know, my goal is to have everyone that's interested in having a car represented at the drag strip, you know, to have it on the channel. So when I feature the drag races, there again, I want to run four seasons. Right now, uh, in 2017, I only got to run the spring season because that's all I had time for, you know. And the next event, I can't tell you when it's coming up because the time allotment is just... My schedule right now is so scrambled that I, I, can't, I can't guarantee time right now. So I'm, you know, only filming when I get time. And there again, my channel's going through... Uh, some major channel changes with with um, YouTube doing everything it's doing. Uh, believe it or not, guys, I've even contemplated contemplated shutting my channel down. I know it's just a model car channel, and it's not a significant, you know, thing in the world. As far as there's a lot more worldly issues going on, you know. But as far as it being a hobby and being something that I've always been into, uh, you know, it, it means something to me. But there again, the world that we're living in and with the things that are going on, uh, especially with the recent Google firing of, uh, you know, of James, um, I just, there, there's certain political things that are going on in the world and certain ideologies that I just, freedom of speech is something that I think we all should fight for, you know? And if they can come in and fire people for having an opinion, or if they can shut your channel down, you know, a lot of people don't want to talk about this stuff because it doesn't affect them directly, so they think. But when it's your channel that they're going to shut down because they don't want, you know, well, this model car right here is offending somebody, so we got to shut your channel down. I mean, to me, that's absurd, and that's pretty much the world we're living in, and, you know, I I can't be blind to that, and I don't want any of my subscribers to, to be blind to that, you know. So, I've uh, actually contemplated shutting this channel down, um, and I, I, might, I might do it. I might shut the channel down, just because uh, I just don't believe in certain things that are going on, and, and it's... It's not an overreaction because if the, they could come in at any time and say, oh, well, you know, you painted this car purple and that's offensive to so, so, so we got to, we got to, you know, delete that video or shut your channel down or that's the world that they're turning into. And um, it's absurd. This is absolutely absurd. So, you know. It is what it is. I, I don't know exactly how all this is going to turn out. I'm, I might just boycott, you know, YouTube for a while and just stop putting out content and videos, you know, anyway. The live streaming seems like it might be a way to go if I did stay on. I mean, I don't even know if people are watching videos anymore, you know. So, it, it you know, if, if I did stay on, maybe live streaming. I've got so much work to do uh, in my music that, you know, I don't know, guys. It's just uh, I'm contemplating a lot of different things right now. So anyway, I I am, you know, going to dedicate this 69 Chevelle to uh, the Street Outlaw build and uh, CT Speed Shop that's being put on by Fast Jimmy and Lil Joe. And, um, you know, that is something that I, I you know, like CT being a musician, too. Um, I was thinking about painting this car. And I know music is is a subjective subject. But I believe, you know, Eddie Van Halen is, is at least one of the best guitar players that has, has ever been blessed to been born on the earth. So I was thinking about maybe calling the car Eruption and painting it like, with the Frankenstein guitar paint job, you know, so it kind of ties in the music, the musicianship uh, of CT Speed Shop 
And uh, like I say, if me and CT ever got in a room together, we, you know, we could we could do an album. I could get together with any of the guys in in the uh, model community, and and we could make music together. You know, um, make a million dollars and maybe buy our, buy and design our own model kits. You know what I mean? I mean, actually, the ideals are endless, guys. The world is as big as we want it to be or as small as we want it to be, you know? So, like I say, I'm mulling over a lot of things here. I know this is a lot of content in this little uh, video, but it is what it is. All right, guys, Model My Sim 2 with a little contender update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your comments below. Love to hear from you. Peace, love, happiness to all. Mama 72, over and out.